Hi. In this video, we'll look at techniques you can use in Burp Suite to identify which parts of a token impact the response. Sometimes an application may only inspect certain parts of a token. You can use the character Frobber and Bit Flipper payload types in Burp Intruder to modify the value of each character or bit position of a token in turn. This enables you to identify which parts of the token impact the response you receive. For example, if you modify the value of a character in a token and your request is still processed, it is likely the character is not used. If you'd like to follow along to test out the processes involved in this, you can use the lab Authentication Bypass via Encryption Oracle from our Web Security Academy. We've already browsed around the site. Now we'll log in, making use of the Stay Logged In option, and then log out again so we have plenty of requests in our Proxy HTTP History tab. The first step is to identify a message that includes a token that we want to investigate further. In this case, we'll use the request for the My Account page when the user has enabled the Stay Logged In cookie. To run the test, highlight the Stay Logged In cookie, right-click the message, and select Send to Intruder. See that because we highlighted it, the cookie has been automatically marked as a payload position. Under the Payloads tab, change the payload type to Character Frobber. Click Start Attack. You can now review the results. We can see we have different status codes in the responses, as the Character Frobber changes different parts of the cookie. So we can now analyse the responses to see the effect each change has had.